friends welcome to my channel my name is Runo I'll be showing you how to make this balloon bubble top or blouse so if this is what you want to learn please watch to the very end and please consider subscribing to this channel so I use an Ankara print and I make marked my shoulder so I'll be drafting it on the paper first so the emphasis will just be on the balloon dress I'm not doing the, the skirt part okay so I measured from my shoulder a tip to my waist line i used a longer waist 18 my actual waist was is 17 but i used 18 and then i marked my shoulder slope from the shoulder line 1.5 and then from the 1.5 i marked my bust line okay so from my bust line i square across with a ruler and then from my shoulder I'll mark my bust points. Okay, so I'm doing a bust dart for this. Now, you, if you, your pattern doesn't have a bust dart, you can do the normal pattern. But for the sake of those that are used to pattern drafting, I want them to benefit from this tutorial. So I mark my bust points and then I'm going ahead to mark my under bust line. So I have my under bust line, I have my waistline, I have my bust points, I have my bust line and then my shoulder, right? So you should label appropriately so you don't make mistake, right? So I, I'm... I went ahead to measure my neckline okay so there are different ways to get where I use the standard measurement 3 by 3 for the front right and I then drew my shoulder slope and I went ahead to impute my measurement okay my bust measurement and I connected with my French curl from my uh, shoulder slope to my arm hole okay and then I also uh, measured my waist measurement my waist measurement circumference divided by 4 and I went ahead to mark my dart 1 inch dart please remember to replace your dart back okay so I replaced the 1 inch and then my bust pan is 4 inches is 4 and um, 8 and I divide by 2 so I marked it on my bust point I marked the four inches on my bust point and from there I came down one inch I'm trying to create my uh, waist that okay so I connected to the one inch that's half inch on both sides okay and then now the difference between my back and the front is uh, 1.5 so I went ahead to measure the 1.5 from my bust point and then I connected from the bust point to the under bust where I marked my one and a half okay so um, I'm, I'm going ahead with the back but first of all I marked my zip allowance because there is a zip at the back and then um mark my shoulder so basically what i did to the front is the same thing that i did to the back but the difference is that the back is shorter okay the back half length is shorter the front is 18 and then the back is 16 and a half why because of the bust that okay so i did the same thing the armhole the bust i imputed the bust measurement and now for the neck for the back is three by one inch okay why for the front is three by three okay so because the back neckline is not as deep as the front okay so and then i went ahead to mark my my waist that everything is the same actually just the boss that's um in front okay so now on my shoulder slope right i came in one inch so it is very very important now because i will draw a i will use my ruler to draw a straight line from my shoulder slope to my under bust okay you know it's a sleeveless okay and then i will be the the, the arm who is going to form like an l shape so where i stopped the place i'm under the the waistline under the under bust that is where my sleeve is going to end okay so it come from the shoulder to so, so there is no uh, uh, sleep in, um, in there okay and then now on my neckline on my bust line i came in 1.5 please it's very very important and then i use my ruler to connect draw a straight line from the bust line to my waistline okay so i'm trying to create a separate panel because i want to add add a belt okay on uh, right under my bust so i need that panel also on my neckline i'll come in one inch and then from that bust um bust line where i came in 1.5 i connect to the neck line shoulder point okay one inch so now you can see that my shoulder uh, my sleeve is now my shoulder is now smaller than the usual one okay so now this part from the armco parts where i drew from my shoulder tip to the under both i'll be cutting that part out so and then on my neckline i will come down three inches okay so the neckline is going to be like a is it a rectangle now and then and a v okay so on that point i will come in that four inches i'll come in one um 0 0.5 that's half inch okay so i want to make a v neck from there but before then i'm going to connect it back to the neckline okay so it's going to give me i um, somehow like a, an l-shaped neckline okay it's not a, a straight neckline and then from that 0 0.5 that half inch i'm going to connect it down so i want a v neck on the panel so it's more like a v and an l 
L um, shape neckline okay so by the time you see by the time I finish cutting you understand it better so on that 0 0.5 I just came down all right because I'll be wearing a, a, a turtleneck inside so the neck can come down I'm not uh, um, afraid to show nothing will be showing because there is an inner there right okay so that part now is where I'll be cutting out so I'll cut out that panel and I'll have my L neckline and then on my under bust I just marked where I'm going to fix my belt so please remember to notch that point on your fabric it's very very important okay so and for my bust that now now i'll move you know you can sew the bust that and the waist that um, together each individual uh, separately sorry but then i'll be moving the bust that to the waist um that um the waistline okay so i just need one single that i don't want to sew both that but you can go you can do away with the that if you don't want to in fact you can decide not to fix that on the waist and on the on the bust okay so it's up to you what you want to do right so after that um i i want to i want to style the front so the same thing what i did to the neckline i came in on the shoulder and i came in on the neckline so i'm doing the same to the back okay so i'm just measuring now at this point i made a mistake guys yes i, I made a mistake because i measured the front where the um, i measured the front from the shoulder to the under bust line i didn't pay attention to the um, bust that so I now marked that same measurement what I was supposed to do was to close the bust that before marking it on the back so now what I now have is that the the back is now longer than my front leg I mean the uh, the joining at the under on the on the under arm like the, the arm go part you can see how small it is so it is after drafting I just realized that wow I didn't close my waist that okay my bust that on the front so I'm going to make that correction but after that you just add make sure you add your seam allowance while cutting okay while cutting on your fabric so I didn't add the seam allowance here but I'll add it on my fabric okay so now this is where the, the it became clear but meanwhile on my zip you can come in half inch just to tighten it so you don't have both at the back okay so what i'm doing now i'm just i went ahead to cut out my pattern okay so you can see my shape is out so the boss that now i'm going to close it so just get your masking tape you cut and then open and close right okay so you open the waist that and then close the boss that so that all that can move to the waistline okay and then you use your paper tape to just tape it down so i've closed my waist that my boss that now so i now have a very big dart on my waist okay so after sewing i'll just go ahead and trim it if it's very big so now i don't i'm labeling now please i need you to label this panel especially the up part so label one two and then make sure you label the up so you not you not mistake it for the down part because they almost look alike okay and then remember to notch your under bust where you fix your zip and go ahead and cut guys and then place on your fabric so now this is where it's it's very very visible can you see i've closed the the bust that now you can see that my back is now smaller okay so i didn't pay attention to that part before cutting i just used the same measurement so you can see that the difference now when i time i place the two the, the difference is still the uh, the the that difference so i just took the pieces i cut out from and just i tape it back and then i just place the the back and the front the side both sides together and just measure and correct the mistake that i made so what i have is four inch there four inches and then i just marked the four inches i connect it back to the straight line i that, that i drew from the shoulder slope down to that point right and then i went ahead now that they are equal i went ahead to cut okay so that's just it i would have skipped this part but i want you to see the error i made so please don't forget to to close your dad before marking your kin so you don't make the same mistake so this is the fabric i am using so this is three inches a uh, three yards okay uh, almost three yards not completely it's not three yards exactly okay but this i just got three yards of the part i'll be using for the bubble okay so um i marked my zip allowance my joining allowance half inch okay so what i did first of all was just to make sure i removed the half length for the 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 top okay the half length of the the top and then i measured what i want so i want everything was supposed to be about 13 32 or there about and then i added folding allowance so the folding allowance was quite much okay it was really much and then i got my my uh, lining so the lining was I, i'm supposed to use the, the lining is the exact um um part I, I, is the exact amount i'll be using for uh, to join the 
the part I'll be folding, so it's going to meet up. Okay, so what I did here was just to uh, step, mark the back and the front, and then I got my lining on a straight piece. Fabric right side, place your lining on the right side of your fabric, and then run a straight stitch. Okay, run a straight stitch. You don't need to um to do anything. Just run. So that's what I did. And after running a straight stitch on the balloon part, you know it's a straight part. Yeah. So I went ahead to pleat. You need to pleat this part, please, guys. Now, if you don't pleat it. It's going to be too big and it's going to look funny. It's not going to give you that balloon effect. And please make sure you, you measure what you get. So now what I did was to measure, use my hip measurement. And I added, my hip is 42. And then I added like about 5 inches. That's 47. So that when I'm putting it on from the bottom part, it's going to match up, okay? It's going to, it's going, it to be easy for me to put it on. If you don't use your hip measurement, it might be difficult, right? So, and don't leave it too big. It's going to look awkward. And then after which, you just flip it over and then um, pin and then match the fabric to the lining now turn on the right side just turn it to the wrong side and then sew a straight stitch again now this time this time you can use a loose stitch you can use a, a, a loose a loose stitch on your machine so that you can make gathers but if you're unable to do that you can use your needle and thread. so i did that initially but there was um, it didn't work out and then i had to use my needle and thread. so what i'm doing now is to gather the the waistline now you need to gather the waistline on now you are not pleating the way you can pleat anyways but you need to gather so i gathered it after gathering you can see the effect so now i also made another correction after doing it the first time the the balloon was short i needed i need i needed to be longer okay so what i did was to cut another four inch of uh, inches of uh, lining and then attach it to the lining again and then i i, I sew it so it now came down so what it means is that what i have in inside the fabric i have inside was now reduced okay so thank god i have excess fabric i have enough inside that was able to cover for the error so this is the front i iron st on the front and then i use the fabric to cut the lining for the front alone so if you have enough fabric please use it to cut the front lining okay so that um it's not going to be obvious okay it's not going to be obvious that uh, the lining won't be that obvious. but if you don't please go ahead and use um a normal lining okay so what i i'm doing is just to show you how to place the belt okay and then for the back also i cut normal line so i didn't use um i didn't use the fabric fabric was not enough and because the back was not as important so i went ahead to sew the dart for the front and then the neckline for the for the panel you can see the neckline the one that looked like l at the top i already sew it and then i went ahead to sew the v-neck on the panel so what i did i just made sure that everything is okay i placed my pattern to be sure that that's the right part okay and then um, what i did was now to place place my belt on the underboss so that part was, has been notched already and then i placed the belt there i pinned it it is very very important make sure you pin it so that both of them will be equal and then i placed the panel on it and then use my lining to cover it and then sew so i'm using the lining to cover the rough edge okay so i did that for this side for the one side and then i repeat the same thing on the other part so you use your lining to cover the edge okay but make sure you sew your panel first before covering so after sewing this is what you have guys if you've not subscribed to this channel please at this point don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment okay and if you're able to replicate this type please do it to tag me on instagram okay all right so after that you do the same thing to the other side and then you you're almost done then what you need to do is just to join get your line and um, your back so your dad please remember to sew your dad okay so for the back um remember to sew so you can see that i already sewed the zip um sorry i already made the the belt i already sewed this belt before now and i attached it now for the armhole now you know there is no sleeve please now i use the fabric i used the lining the the lining to turn it so i didn't use bias okay so i used the lining to turn it so what i need was just see the way i flipped it inside and then i sew it so you have to sew it straight down from the shoulder tip make sure you use 0 0.5 inch allowance to sew make sure you use 0 0.5 inch allowance to sew 
okay and then you sew it down please follow that l shape on under on the underarm the on on the armhole guys please make sure you follow that if you don't just sew it anyhow okay so you do the same to each of the armhole right so you sew it first in separately sew each of them separately the front the both sleeve in front sew them separately and then you after sewing please do well to notch okay if you don't notch it it's not going to lay flat okay so you need to notch that l part so it's going to be very very flat and then after which you do well to iron so what i'm doing now is i is um, notching so i'm notching it so it's going to be very flat if you don't notch it's not going to be flat so it's going to it's, not, it's just going to uh, be um, funny okay so do well to notch and then iron please guys you know you can't get a neat um, outfit without ironing while sewing so i'll do the same to the other sleeve and then i'll also do the same to the back okay so please make sure the belts and both belts align if they don't align please you can remove and refix again so i noticed one was higher and i adjusted it before um joining the shoulder okay so i did the back um, um armhole i sew it the from the shoulder down and then i notched and i ironed so i didn't sew the zip the zip side so i will be using the lining for at the zip uh, at the back to turn it over okay because i i want it to be neatly finished so what i'm doing next is to um, join my shoulders together so what you need to do is just to use one of the shoulder either the front and the back just put it through the in into the into the other one and then you grab and sew okay after that then you get the side so i also sew the side separately the lining and then the fabric separately so i sew separate after which and then i now join you can see the opening at the underarm part and then i will now join it together okay so um after doing that what you need to do next is to join the bubble part and then the to join the bubble part to the upper part okay so this is me i'm actually sewing the on uh, the opening and the on uh, the underarm okay so this is it guys it's quite straightforward all you need to do is just to watch this tutorial carefully and you get it okay so you don't have to go through this um, um, um method you can just decide to use bias tree but this one is neater this is actually neater okay and i'm better so what i did now is just to pin you can see i later used a needle and thread to a contrasting thread white to make the gathers okay because um the the long strip i did didn't work out i think it, it cuts at the along the way so i had to redo it again okay so what i did is just to now i attach both ends i pin both ends together and after pinning i now i just to spread the gathers and then i assume so after doing what i did next was to sew the zip okay and then i used the lining to cover the zip part all right and then for the finishing i don't want to use any weaving so i decided to just use the the fabric the lining of the up to cover it i just folded in to cover the to conceal the rough edge of the waistline okay so at the end of the day you won't even notice because i, I covered it i used needle and thread to tack it so this is me i'm done what i did was just to fix the zip and here i am you, i know you can fix the zipper okay after doing that so it's just to close the bottom part so this part is a bit technical i just sew the fabric alone okay down as i sew it i now connected it back to the lining so this is it guys